स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज नोट डाउन द नोट्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो लेक्चर प्लीज डाउनलोड यूर नोट इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ पाइला द एपल स्नेल इट इज ए मॉलस्क डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज ए मॉलस्क soft bodied animal the pila globosa the apple snail no down all bsc first year students i mean the second semester students in phylum annelida the type study is earthworm in phylum arthropoda type study is cockroach in this phylum mollusca the type study is pila globosa the apple snail in case of phylum acinodermata the type study is starfish astrias in today's lecture we will discuss digestive system of pila globosa the apple snail a mollusk a soft bodied shelled animal like shank dear students in this digestive system of pila very important very important question for bsc first year second semester no down two very important questions in this chapter pila globosa one is digestive system and in tomorrow's lecture i will discuss another important topic for final exam that is circulatory system of pila the apple snail this entire digestive system that consists of two parts alimentary canal and digestive glands in case of pila globosa that is a mollusk that is a snail soft bodied shelled animal and the alimentary canal of this snail that is complete having both openings mouth and anus and that alimentary canal is divided into three parts fore gut stomodium mid gut mesentron and the hind gut that is proctodium no down first part fore gut and last part hind gut are ectodermal in origin while this mid gut mesentron that includes stomach and coiled tubular intestine this part is it is endodermal in origin and this part is it is mid gut mesentron the first part that is fore gut stomodium and this part which is ectodermally ectodermal in origin having following parts first part of the alimentary canal or fore gut that is mouth it is a transverse slit and this slit like aperture which is present on the first part of body snout region and this mouth is guarded by first pair of tentacles or labial palp no down the first part of alimentary canal that is mouth and that is a transverse slit and that slit is present at the terminal part of snout and it is guarded by first pair of tentacles the second part of the alimentary canal very important very important this part one this one is buccal mass not down it is buccal mass this is the structure of vertical section of buccal mass of pila and this buccal mass which is second part of alimentary canal it is ectodermal in origin and this buccal mass internally it is divided into two unequal regions due to presence of a pair of jaws and these a pair of jaws which hang from the roof of this buccal mass and these a pair of jaws which divide this entire chamber buccal mass into two unequal parts in front of this jaw this small part is this one is vestibule and this maximum part of this buccal mass just behind the jaws this one is it is buccal cavity note down very important question buccal mass of pila 
the entire topic is very important and in this topic this buccal mass another question this buccal cavity its roof having dorsally a dorsal buccal mass of glands and at the floor of this buccal cavity this is a mass of tongue like structure and this tongue mass is it is odentophore and this odentophore is well supported by cartilages anteriorly this odentophore possesses a subradular organ and posteriorly this odentophore is surrounded by a membrane and this membrane is subradular membrane just behind this subradular membrane the sickle shaped the rasping organ the cutting organ because the animal is herbivorous it feeds upon succulent the fleshy aquatic plants like valisneria hydrilla dear students note down for the cutting of aquatic plants this rasping organ it is very important it is radula or lingual ribbon this is a structure of radula pila the cutting organ not down the animal is herbivorous it feeds upon the fleshy the succulent aquatic plants like valisneria and this radula pila another important question having small stalk like structure this one is strap of radula anterior region having a flap and in this strap of radula numerous transverse rows of teeth each transverse row consists of seven teeth not down competition student in each row seven teeth are present and the radula formula is what is the radular formula one teeth is central median it is surrounded by lateral tooth then inner marginal tooth and then outer marginal tooth it means on margins two teeth are present outer marginal inner marginal then lateral tooth then the central median tooth the radular formula becomes 2 1 1 1 2 it means two marginal one lateral one median one lateral and two marginal marginal outer marginal inner marginal it means in each transverse row of this strap of radula having seven teeth one median then no down lateral tooth then inner marginal and the last outer marginal simply two marginal two marginal then lateral one lateral one and one median the radular formula becomes 2 1 1 1 2 70th in each transverse row this is all about buccal mass radula opila the third part next part of this elementary canal that is esophagus the food pipe it is a long tubular structure its anterior part of this esophagus that produce a pair of esophageal pouches and these esophageal pouches will surround the salivary glands posteriorly this esophagus opens into the midgut the mesentron or stomach this particular part having stomach and intestine collectively constitute it is midgut or it is mesentron this part is endodermal in origin dear students this stomach is divided into two parts this 
anterior part larger part it is cardiac stomach and this posterior tubular part that is pyloric stomach and that posterior terminal part of this pyloric stomach that produces a cecum it is a blind diverticulum of pyloric stomach it is a vestigial organ functions unknown non-functional then this coiled elongated tubular structure it is intestine and the last part that is hind gut proctodium which includes rectum that stores temporarily stores the fecal matter and it opens by anus means elementary canal having both openings mouth and anus so it is complete and dear students in this entire system the digestive system two types of digestive glands associate a pair of salivary glands and these salivary glands present just behind the in posterior region of this buccal mass each salivary gland is surrounded by an esophageal pouch and the salivary gland possesses salivary duct these salivary glands secrete mucus and carbohydrate digestive enzymes because the animal consumes cellulose it is herbivorous it consumes fibers the salivary gland secrete carbohydrates and the second digestive gland which associates in the, with this system that is heptopancreas or it is liver it may be named liver plus pancreas this heptopancreas this gland having two parts two lobes and this heptopancreas consists of three types of cells secretory cells these secretory cells are involved in the digestion of carbohydrate cellulose it means these secretory cells produce cellulase digestive cells the second type of cells in heptopancreas digestive cells and these cells are involved in the digestion of proteins and a very important third type of cells which are lime containing cells not down lime containing cells it means these cells store calcium phosphate dear students this is all about the digestive system of pila globosa apple snail a mollusk a snail which is soft bodied shelled animal like shank in this system in this phylum digestive system of this phyla two components two parts elementary canal and digestive glands the elementary canal that is complete having three parts fore gut mid gut hind gut fore gut that is stomodium includes mouth buccal mass esophagus no down very important questions in this topic vertical section of buccal mass and second important question from this topic that is radula pila radular formula then the mid gut mesentron endodermal in origin having two parts stomach and intestine and the last part that is hind gut proctodium that is rectum and the rectum opens by anus and two types of two two types of digestive glands which associate with this system are a pair of salivary glands and these salivary glands are enclosed in esophageal pouches the second digestive gland important very important that is heptopancreas dear yes, students this is all about digestive system of pila in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss another important topic that is circulatory system of pila